Hey everyone, Wins Bitten here. So we're at Game 5 of Carolina Smackdown 2016. My Kingdom of Equitain versus an Ogre Khan's army. Now this is a guy that I actually played him, we played each other in tournament uh, two or three years ago. Um, he's got a really nice, nice looking uh, Ogre army. What's really cool about it, he has everything named. <laughs> so, it's and he, and he refers to it during the game, he's like, this is fluffy. <laughs> um... Anyway, we, I'm on the same darn table that has a river running all the way across it. Um, so what I thought I'd do is just, I'm just going to go way over here in the far right corner and hang back and just try to make sure we we, um, we fight this uh, on my side of, the, of that river or we fight it when he's in the river. And um, I've got two trebs and some magic. He's got, uh, he's got some, some decent shooting and magic were probably about equally ranged, so kind of curious how that's going to pan out. So start on the far right. He's got three Tusker Cavalry, a saber tooth Tiger. Then he's got um, Fluffy, so this is a Rock of Rocks, and that thing, <laughs> that thing is nasty. Oh my goodness, that's nasty. He's got nine Tribesmen, a General, and a Battle Standard Bearer. The General has like the, the magic weapons, great weapon, does D3 wounds. BSB has like the armor piercing weapon. Uh, let's see, then he's got Frosty behind it, uh, lowers you, your initiative. He's got another Saber Tooth Tiger, number nine, another nine tribesmen. And then he's got eight mercenary veterans. Uh, with the same build, I see everybody taken. You give him pistols, you give him plus one ballistic skill, and poison. I, for a game seeking internal balance, the mercenary veterans are not internally balanced. That is the only kit you ever see. It is so stupidly good. On the far right, I've got 12 Knights of the Realm of Trebuchet, a couple units of Fast Cav, another Knights of the Realm. On the far left in this picture, you can see my Grail Knights. And this time I, d I decided to take my BSB and my Spellcaster out of the Grail Knights. Um, and I'm not really sure why, I just don't remember why. There's another unit of Fast Cav, kind of <laughs> weirdly positioned, that unit of dogs. Um, they're actually mounted yeomen, in case you're not following my reports. Basically, I just I just wanted them for uh, to be available in in a few turns, and I just I wanted to keep them keep my stuff together. Anyway, then I've got a big unit of knights of the realm, and that's where my BSB and my spellcaster are. And then it just wouldn't fit, so I put another unit uh, over here. What I'm thinking with this unit is just to play cat and mouse with the mercenary veterans. Um, you know, try to get him to make some failed charges and just try to hold him at bay as much as I can. If I can get a, a charge when he's in the water, I'll probably do it, but uh, without magic support, I'm not sure I even win that. All right, so there's the Vanguard. Uh, I think I deployed first, uh, so there's a 50-50 chance of me going first, and uh, he wins it, and he moves up as you can see. So overall, it looks like that. We go to shooting. He's got the the what the mobile bolt throwers on top they kill a couple knights of my far right unit his mercenary veterans of course kill this unit um kill a 25 percent of this unit and we go to king vectane turn one so <laughs> so i have to admit <laughs> at this point i've just had my my butt handed to me two games in a row and i've been doing really really well at tournaments lately so like, I have no chance at all of doing well in the tournament, so I'm just kind of um, having fun and playing loose. And I have to admit, this game was really super fun. The whole game was fun. But I'm looking back on it now, like, what was I thinking? Um, anyway, so I take two units of Fast Cav, and I put them in front of Sabretooth just to throw some weapons at it, hope to get lucky and kill it. I take a third unit of Fast Cav, redirect his... Um, well, Frosty, uh, no, Fluffy, the uh, Rocker Rocks, and his Tusker Cavalry. And I move up, not super aggressive, but relatively aggressively with my Knight units on the right. Thinking, you know, he can, if he sits still, I can, if I want, I can charge right by the Fast Cav. And if he doesn't, if he charges them, there's no overrun that's going to do anything to me. And, uh, you know, I want to pick on the right-hand side. And like I said, his left-hand side is going to be pretty slow because he can't march through that water. In the magic phase, I um, I get a couple buffs because there really wasn't a whole lot to cast, so I, I I improved the ballistic skill of this fast cav unit, and um, and I want to say I gave them um, plus one strength, and so they <laughs> they easily killed the one saber two. It was overkill, but I, like I said, um, getting little spells off that my opponent wasn't worried about allowed me to get a couple tokens. I was happy enough with that. Trebuchets, 
uh, don't really do a whole lot. We go to OkraCon's turn two, and holy crap, <laughs> the whole world, the whole world comes crashing down. Um, yeah, take a look at that. He's um. Uh, so basically, what happened was. I wasn't thinking of, about the fast cav having to take a terror test when Fluffy charges him. And they were outside of leadership and reroll. And so he charges them with his terror causing rocker rocks and they flee. And now <laughs> instead of retracting him, I gave him all these short charges. So the Tusker cavalry on the right needed nothing to get to my guys. I felt so, <laughs> I felt so dumb. The rocker rocks actually needed a decent, he needed a decent roll, but that thing has swift stride. I, I didn't realize that. I didn't ask. But I think even with Swift Stride, I think he still only needed like a 7. That thing's just really fast moving. So again, I felt dumb parking as closely as I did when, when I really didn't need to. And then if you look on the far left, the veteran mercenaries needed a 10 to get to me. And like I said, I was trying. I was kind of thinking, you know, if I can, if I can bait him into charging and getting some failed charges, he can't shoot at me. It just kind of slows him down. And... um Actually, I take that back. That, that that was my plan. But on my turn, I think I charged that unit on the left, and they failed the charge, but still rolled a 6, so they were up there a little bit farther. Regardless, the mercenary veterans needed a 10 to get to them, and they came just crashing in. Like, <laughs> this is... <laughs> I'm uh, honestly at this point in the game I'm not not just now doing the battery point at this point in the game I'm laughing hysterically like I am the worst player that's ever played this game <laughs> there's that there's that that is not a good use of Grail Knights in case you're wondering and there's that now this I'm thinking he's going to win I'm going to be steadfast you know it's not like there's no possibility here but it's not ideal uh, let's see I think it's his bolt throwers I think it was um kill a bunch of knights. I think I had 12 knights and two characters, so 14, so they killed four knights. Uh, so that wasn't good. Um, or let's see, that may, yeah, I think that was magic, actually. And this, we screwed up. He um, he threw five dice at something that killed a bunch of knights, and then he rolled like a, a three or a four on the miscast table, and both of us were thinking that he only got sucked down the drain uh, on a roll of one through three. And the way the miscast table is, if you use five dice, you're automatically sucked down. So that's just, you know, my mind was reverting to the previous game. And um, I don't know how much effect it had in the game. But I, I could have used I could have used any help I could get. I should have remembered that. I'll remember it from now on. On the far right, his Tusker Cavalry come in. They, uh, they easily win. I'm steadfast. I fail my steadfast. Run off the table. His Rocker Rocks comes in. That, that thing is nasty. It slaughters the Grail Knights. Um, I think I had one knight left and auto broke, and the unit of knights on the right failed their panic on a nine rerollable, ran off the table. <laughs> I'm like, of course they did. <laughs> Freaking course. And of course, over here, the mercenary veterans absolutely slaughter those knights. Uh, I'm not steadfast. Uh, break, run, and he actually doesn't catch me. So. Um, so I have that going for me, which is nice. So at this point, I don't have a whole lot left, but I do have a nasty unit, um, you know, one nasty unit. So my BSB's unit charges his general's unit. My uh, my cap, my uh, neither realm unit on the left rallies. My and I have fast cavern trebs, and they're they, they're not long for this world. Uh, so there's that. the The good news is, I think I'm going to win it. He's not going to be steadfast. I just really need him to break, or else I'm going to get countercharged and. Well, the game ends early and we start, you know, hanging out. And after combat, yeah, we um, we do well, uh, well enough to beat him. And um, he breaks. We don't catch him, which is absolutely huge. And I'm and I'm, I'm pursuing over this water. And now, if he rallies, I have to charge him again, which means I have to take dangerous terrain for water and dangerous terrain for woods because this table is so awesome. Um, that is is really worrying me. Uh, luckily, Frosty fails his panic test and runs, and, uh, you know, there's a decent chance he's going to keep on running. So, go to the Ogre's turn. Uh, his mercenary veterans charge my knights in the lower left-hand corner. His uh, Tusker cavalry charge my fast cav on the right that I was I put there to, to redirect. Fluffy does a 360 turn, single model, of course he can, and then marches 14 inches and is all up in my business. That really sucks. I was really hoping he would charge a trebuchet and just stay away from my main unit. Uh, this unit rallies, and with magic, I think, possibly with shooting, whatever it was, he kills more knights. So my unit's down to just nothing. <laughs> uh, I think Frosty 
ran off the table, so that's nice. Mercenary veterans easily kill uh, Knights of the Realm. They reform because I've got Trebuchet over on the left-hand side. They're going to go take care of it. Um, Sabretooth Tiger had charged to Trebuchet, killed it. Oh yeah, that's right. After he did that, he went back later and I I said that's perfectly okay. He he uh, reformed his mercenary veterans to come towards the middle of the table. And of course his Tusker Cavalry um, makes short work of the Fast Cav and turn to face my main unit. So we charge again and we get dangerous train for the water, dangerous train for the woods. We hit his main unit. There's not a lot left. The good news is, is that my BSB is ideally suited to take care of of um, ogres. His general's down to a single wound. That was it was just unfortunate the last round of combat. My BSP went in there and his, you know I'm doing multiple wounds on him and just kind of fluff it. But this combat, I wish I took pictures of how it progressed. But my BSB just went to town, just absolutely went to town and um, killed a bunch of stuff. And you know knights got killed in return. Uh, I want to say, I think I put my my um, level four into a challenge so that uh, so that my BSB could do his work. And it worked. I mean, she only took one wound, which is crazy. I think I had a token there to absorb one wound, and then my opponent just kind of fluffed. And, um, yeah, d demolished the unit and pursued him, got the points. But we got, but we ran off the table. Now, we needed to get off the table to get away from fluffy and the tusker because otherwise he he just would have charged me and i would have would have had no place to run the problem is when i come back on my opponent is if you look at the top right positioning such that there's it's really if since i come on and i can't march there's not a whole lot i can do so if you look in the top middle my bsb and my my uh, mage come on this like we had plenty of time left it took me forever to decide what to do here because i was splitting them up you know what happened you know can i can i move them eight inches in a certain direction so that if he charges me i can flee and stay on the table and get away and finally, I'm like, screw it. I kept them together. I put them right where you see them. I go to the magic phase, and I throw every dice I can at the spell that gives me a uh, eight or a sixteen inch magical move. And I roll the dice, and I and I get the spell off. But it's like I roll a one, a one, a two, a three, or whatever, you know. So my opponent easily dispels it. So we go to his turn. He charges. He charges them, and of course, I have no chance whatsoever. In the magic phase, I think. <laughs> I think he cast a spell he didn't need to cast, and, um, and his mage dies, but he should have died a long time ago. And then the game ended there. Oh, that... I don't know, the battle report maybe not seem as... That game was actually a lot of fun. It was it was so stupidly bad at the beginning. I mean, um, there was no reason to park my troops so close. It was stupid to not think about my fast calf taking a terror test. Uh, okay, all right. <laughs> I apologize to my opponent for giving him just such, such an awful game. But anyway, that's it. So since this game, this game took place, geez, at least two, maybe three weeks ago, uh, I have, I think, three or four Kingdom of Equitane battle reports that I'll do, and you'll be able to watch them over the next week or so. But as the, now that I'm making the report, it is now October, and throughout October, I'm going to switch to playing Vampire Covenant since um, I've got a box full of models, and I've always kind of wanted to do that in October kind of a month-long celebration of Halloween. So you're not going to be able to see all the battle reports uh, in October. You might have to stretch some of them in November, but it will be something different. Been anyway, here. Thank it. you so much for watching the video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. As you know, YouTube has a variety of functions you can use to interact with videos such as this. You can like or comment on the video. You can favorite it. You can share it. And of course, you can subscribe to the channel. And I encourage you to do any or all of those things as uh, a way of interacting between viewer and producer. Uh, as always, I'm, I appreciate your patronage on the channel and wish you all the best.